ISO – IEC 17025 General requirements for the competence of testing and calibration laboratories is the main ISO standard used by testing and calibration laboratories. In most major countries, ISO – IEC 17025 is the standard for which most labs must hold accreditation in order to be deemed technically competent. In many cases, suppliers and regulatory authorities will not accept test or calibration results from a lab that is not accredited. Originally known as ISO – IEC Guide 25, ISO – IEC 17025 was initially issued by the International Organization for Standardization in 1999. There are many commonalities with the ISO 9000 standard, but ISO – IEC 17025 is more specific in requirements for competence, and applies directly to those organizations that produce testing and calibration results and is based on somewhat more technical principles. Since its initial release, a second release was made in 2005 after it was agreed that it needed to have its quality system words more closely aligned with the 2000 version of ISO 9001. The standard was first published in 1999 and on 12 May 2005 the alignment work of the ISO-CASCO committee responsible for it was completed with the issuance of the reviewed standard. The most significant changes introduced greater emphasis on the responsibilities of senior management, and explicit requirements for continual improvement of the management system itself, and particularly, communication with the customer. The 2005 version of ISO IEC 17025 comprises five elements that are scope, normative references, terms and definitions, management requirements, and technical requirements. The two main sections in ISO – IEC 17025 are management requirements and technical requirements. Management requirements are primarily related to the operation and effectiveness of the quality management system within the laboratory. Technical requirements includes factors which determines the correctness and reliability of the tests and calibrations performed in laboratory. The 2017 version of ISO – IEC 17025 has modified this structure to be scope, normative references, terms and definitions, general requirements, structural requirements, resource requirements, process requirements, and management system requirements. General requirements and structural requirements are related to the organization of the laboratory itself. Structure requirements cite those issues related to the people, plant and other organizations used by the laboratory to produce its technically valid results. Process requirements are the heart of this version of the standard in describing the activities to ensure that results are based on accepted science and aimed at technical validity. Management system requirements are those steps taken by the organization to give itself tools quality management system in supporting the work of its people in the production of technically valid results. Laboratories use ISO – IEC 17025 to implement a quality system aimed at improving their ability to consistently produce valid results. It is also the basis for accreditation from an accreditation body. Since the standard is about competence, accreditation is simply formal recognition of a demonstration of that competence. A prerequisite for a laboratory to become accredited is to have a documented quality management system. The usual contents of the quality manual follow the outline of the ISO – IEC 17025 standard. Predecessors Some national systems e.g. UKASM 10 in the UK were the forerunners of ISO – IEC 17025-1999 but could sometimes be exceedingly prescriptive. ISO – IEC 17025 allows laboratories to carry out procedures in their own ways, but an auditor assessor may require the laboratory to justify using a particular method. A notable predecessor was the European Standard N45001, which was withdrawn after ISO – IEC 17025 was published and adopted as N ISO – IEC 17025. In common with other ISO quality standards, ISO – IEC 17025 requires continual improvement. Additionally, the laboratory will be expected to keep abreast of scientific and technological advances in relevant areas. In common with other accreditation standards of the ISO 17000 series and unlike most ISO standards for management systems, third-party auditing assessment of the laboratory is normally carried out by the national organization responsible for accreditation. 
Laboratories are therefore accredited under ISO IEC 17025 rather than certified or registered CF ISO 9000 series. In short, accreditation differs from certification by adding the concept of a third party accreditation body AB attesting to technical competence within a laboratory in addition to its adherence and operation under a documented quality system specific to a scope of accreditation. Topic. Accreditation bodies In order for accreditation bodies to recognize each other's accreditations, the International Laboratory Accreditation Cooperation worked to establish methods of evaluating accreditation bodies against another ISO – CASCO standard ISO – IEC Guide 58 which became ISO – IEC 17011. Around the world, geopolitical regions such as the European Community, and Asia-Pacific, the Americas and others, established regional cooperations to manage the work needed for such mutual recognition. These regional bodies all working within the ILAC umbrella include European Accreditation Cooperation EA, the Asia-Pacific Laboratory Accreditation Cooperation APLAC, Southern Africa Accreditation Cooperation SADCA, and the Inter-American Accreditation Cooperation IAAC. The first laboratory accreditation bodies to be established were NADA in Australia 1947 and TELARC in New Zealand 1973. Most other bodies are based on the NADA – TELARC model include UKAS and British CERT.in the UK, FINAS in Finland and DANIC in Denmark to name a few. In the US there are several, multidisciplinary accreditation bodies that serve the laboratory community. These bodies accredit testing and calibration labs, reference material producers, PT providers, product certifiers, inspection bodies, forensic institutions and others to a multitude of standards and programs. These ILACMRA signatory accreditation bodies carry identical acceptance across the globe. It does not matter which AB is utilized for accreditation. The MRA arrangement was designed with equal weight across all economies. ABS include the ANSI ASQ National Accreditation Board and their recent acquisitions of LAB and ASCLD Lab which are now both http colon slash slash www.anab.org slash anab the American Association for Laboratory Accreditation A2LA Perry Johnson Laboratory Accreditation PJLA American Industrial Hygiene Association International Accreditation Service Inc IAS National Voluntary Laboratory Accreditation Program NVLAP technically part of the US government and only accredits a few narrow disciplines American Society of Crime Laboratory Directors Laboratory Accreditation Board ASCLD Lab which is now a NAB see above in Canada there are two accreditation bodies Standards Council of Canada The Canadian Association for Laboratory Accreditation the accreditation of calibration laboratories is the shared responsibility of the Standards Council of Canada SCC program for the accreditation of laboratories Canada PALCAN and the National Research Council of Canada NRC Calibration Laboratory Assessment Service CLAS The CLAS program provides quality system and technical assessment services and certification of specific measurement capabilities of calibration laboratories in support of the Canadian National Measurement System In other countries there is often only one accreditation body Typically these bodies encompass accreditation programs for management systems, product certification, laboratory, inspection, personnel and others. In India, the accreditation body is National Accreditation Board for Testing and Calibration Laboratories In Indonesia, the accreditation body is Comite Accreditasi Nacional In Ireland, the accreditation body is Irish National Accreditation Board INAB in New Zealand Aotearoa, the accreditation body is International Accreditation New Zealand IANZ in the Netherlands, the accreditation body is Dutch Accreditation Council DAC in Vietnam, the accreditation body is Bureau of Accreditation BOA in Korea, the accreditation body is Korea Laboratory Accreditation Scheme COLIS, Germany's national accreditation body DAX is a government-appointed institution providing accreditation of conformity assessment for laboratories, certification and inspection bodies. 
Topic. See also. List of ISO standards. ISO 17025 documents. Topic. References. Topic. External links. ISO – IEC 17025-2005 General Requirements for the Competence of Testing and Calibration Laboratories